guys and welcome at looking at some more Newgrounds games. This one is blaring my ears out, so great. So there hasn't been any real gaming news that I could talk about. I debated talking about some subjects but I decided it's better leave it unless I want to start some shit on the internet. So instead, due to the coronavirus outbreak in China, we're celebrating by playing some hospital medicine related games. Celebrating is the wrong word, really. The plague is coming to get us all, so let's fix some ucky wookies. So this is one of those really, really dumb games where you just have to fix patients. Let me just wipe off the blood out of your nose. This will make you feel all better. All the better. See how shiny. And just put some put some ice on you, on your face. It's not it's not actually working. Okay, spray some nasal spray into your eyes instead. How about that? There's a spray in the eyes! Makes your eyes go blind! How do you even... ...do this? Would you like some ice in your eye socket? If I restarted you, could I put some ice in your eye socket then? What about if I zoomed out? Would that help? Ah! You have a lot more things that is wrong with you. Let's leave your eye socket alone then. Why would I click to remove when you're screaming so wonderfully? But yes, let me just put a bandage. There, there you go. W well done. Would you would you like some? Ah, there we go. That that makes you all better. All better. Any blood? No. Anything else for me to remove? You seem all fine, man. You seem perfectly fine to me. Here, have a lamp. This will help. And let me just glue something to your head. That, did that cure you? Do I have to reload you to cure you? Is that it? Did you break on me? Aw, oh, new ground games break so easy. Play Rosie! Oh, this time we know what to do. I think I can see the problem. Like, he should have a big zit somewhere, but like, he doesn't. Is that it? Do you have invisible illnesses, Mr. Man? Mr. Okie Wookie Man. Are you so happy to get nasal spray into your eyes? Oh my god, it's completed! What about a creepy kangaroo? Let me just take a tiny axe out of your wound. And a plaster is just gonna keep that in, right? That, that's gonna work. I like how we're not even investigating why is he having a nosebleed. We're like, just, just let me wipe it off. Now go home, please. You're all better. What's wrong with you, eh? 
Do you want a sticker? There you go, here's a sticker. Would you like some droplets into your eyes or an ice cube on your head? Nah, you're just broken. So this has been... How is it called? Yeah, the Monster Doctor, where we fix little whoopsies whoopsies. Well, it blares my head out, so that, uh, let me just switch off that, that sound. That was quite a lot of sound. Moving on to sneeze. <laughs> Let me just put your sound back in, because this is quite nice. This, this sounds exactly what, what coronavirus would sound. So purple are adults, red are children, and elderly are yellow. And if we infect adults, that is like the bestest, but they're the hardest to infect. So all we have is one sneeze. That's the idea. We have, we have to spread this deadly epidemic. Yeah, this is working. I like how it absolutely forces them to, to sneeze in response to you sneezing. Oh my god, we infected 55% on this random street. Maybe humanity will be dead super soon. Did you know that if 31,000 people died, that would be equivalent to planting 20 million trees in oxygen? Always look on the positive side. We're just being very responsible about global warming, okay? That's all we're doing here. We're just... Helping to spread the death. Share the death. At the nursery. In fact, over 30% of the area. How Jesus Christ, we're outright evil, aren't we? Here, here's some children sneezed on. But there's still a few infected. You, sn you sneezed the wrong way, child. What is wrong with you? Ah, uh, and it resets us to level 1, so this has been... The Sneezy Game Sneeze, which... Emulates our current situation quite well, so when you are dying in the next few months from an... Unproceeded outbreak of a new SARS virus... Just remember this video. Let this video keep you cool. So... Convert to PDF game, what? This is a game of what to do with your last six days on Earth. One chance. In six days, every single living cell on planet Earth will be dead. You have one chance. Blink, 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 blink. This is all about how we spend our remaining days on the Earth. I really have to go to school today, Daddy. Yes, yes you do, honey. There will be at least one weekend in this week. Today's the big day, gotta move on! Cancer cured. Yesterday a team of scientists led by Dr. Pilgrim left cured cancer. The team has been working on a cure for the illness for seven years before they made a breakthrough in cell destruction yesterday. The cure, currently known as E48K15, could also be used to fight other harmful cells, even the common cold. Ah, so this is how destruction starts. Well, you know what? I'm gonna be responsible adult, and I am gonna pretend that the Earth is currently not dying, and that everything will be all fine. We're just gonna work. We're gonna work because that is what a responsible adult would do, okay? Congratulations, John! This is a big step! We're not gonna celebrate. Obviously, nice things are nice, but maybe, maybe we're able to fix this by being a responsible adult. In five days, every single living cell on planet Earth will be dead. You have one chance. Kinda 
interesting that he has like a single bed bedroom, right? Even though he has like a wife and child. The Daily News. Cure deadly. The cancer cure discovered earlier this week has been found to be beyond deadly according to the officials. Ah. <laughs> uh, the, how did this pass the tests? Did it not do this to mice? Is that it? Well, nothing to worry about. We did wipe out cancer by just killing every single person that had cancer. We're fucked, John. The drug is dangerous. And everybody just... stares at me. It's not as dangerous as they say that it is, is it, Doc? And yes, we can probably walk into the roof. And commit suicide. Probably not something that we should do. Matthew, oh god. John, what have we done? I've done the tests a thousand times. So much worse than we thought. It's going to change everything. In four days, every single living cell on planet Earth will be dead. You have one chance. Aww. You really have to go in today? Does anything really matter anymore? Why don't I have to go to school today? Because your mother is depressed, honey. Take care of your mother. The end is nigh. World leaders all over the earth addressed their people yesterday and told them that the upcoming end of days, the cell-destroying virus, is already widely spread and taking its toll on the world. Okay, so we want the plants to not die, and then we're all safe. Let's just live in nice green places. Ah yes, congregate, my my minions. This will help viruses not to spread. There must be something we can do. What happened here? Where is everyone? Were you on vacation? Did you not see yesterday? Is that it, dude? Here's my question. Why do I even come here if the lab is locked? Don't worry, John, I'm not going to jump. Although I don't suppose it matters now. Go home and be with your family, John. I probably should. I mean, I could work and make it better. Let's, let's just... Let's try and make it better, okay? In three days, every single living cell on planet Earth will be dead. I mean, what if working makes it better, eh? Honey, you can't be this depressed. You have like three days to live. Go and enjoy the dying shrubbery. Unless you're all ill and dying. Do I live with corpses? Is that it? Did my family already die? Is that it? 50% dead by morning! Scientists have predicted that by Saturday morning, half the population of humans that were alive on Monday will be dead. John, we need you at the lab. We could be onto something, but we understand if you want to be with your family. Fuck my family, they're all depressed! Why would I spend time with stressies depressies, eh? They don't even make let me make it better. Hey, you, glad you could make it. You know, since it could be our last day on Earth, I'm meaning to ask you something. Do you maybe wanna get out of here? No skipping work right now, you boob lady! Not gonna stop me from making a scientific breakthrough! Alternatively, I will die with... 
happy work people. Considering that my family hasn't gotten out of bed. Ah. Alrighty. Jesus Christ, woman, you had like three days remaining and this is what you did? I'm like a stone in the sea. Did it feel like the better option than dying from illness? From so far, it sounds like this illness kills pretty... nicely. Where's mommy, daddy? Don't worry, honey. This is where mommy is! Aw, I buried her myself, and somebody stole that car's tire. What are you doing in the with a ca car tire in the last two days, eh? Take Molly to work! But let me show my daughter how real men handle the situation. I'm so sorry. Written in blood, how... how... How cheerful. We're actually gonna work. Even if we're like the last person working, we're actually gonna work, okay? Every single living cell on planet Earth will die. You had one chance. One chance to make it better. I wonder, considering how bad this is, do I actually clock off? Like, it's 5 p.m. Time to go home. Yep. Come on, Molly. We're gonna have fun in the labs. You can feed the dying rats, Molly. Ah, newspaper people died. Hey, if we find the cure today, Molly, we can be the last people on Earth with the cure. We can, like... Save ourselves, Molly! It's gonna be just like the last of us, except with less... Lesbianism. I like how we bother to bury a wife, but not their colleagues. Because we never really cared. Oh my god, the vaccine! I got it! Let me just inject it into my own heart. We literally are like the last people around. Like, well, we vaccinated. We good. Let's just admire the trees. Well, Molly, we'll have to repopulate this world. I didn't want to tell you at this nice little age of five years old, but daddy's gonna do what daddy's gonna do. But in any ways, this has been one chance, and you're free to explore other endings by yourself. So, thank you for dropping by on my Newgrounds video, and just fingers crossed that we don't die from the Chinese coronavirus epidemic. That wouldn't be very nice, would it? But it was fun at looking at this kind of world anyway. So, thank you for watching, subscribe if you want more videos from me, and hopefully I'm gonna see you the next time.